set operations set operations are used to match the elements of two sets set operations are union intersection set difference and cross product in previous class we have seen cartesian product today we will see other three operations union intersection and set difference to apply this set operations the two relations must have the same type of tuples this condition is called union compatibility or type compatibility two relations r and s are said to be union compatible if the two relations have the same number of attributes and each corresponding pair of attributes has the same domain means same data type let us see set union we can define union on two union compatible relations r and s the result of this union operation is denoted by r union s is a relation that includes all tuples that are either in r or in s or in both r and s r intersection s duplicates are eliminated let us see one query retrieve the social security number of all employees who either work in department number 5 or directly supervise an employee who works in department number 5 first find the department number 5 employees sigma d number equal to 5 on this employee relation then you will get department number 5 employees from that we need only social security number so project ssn from this department 5 employees then we will get the first query result let us say result one second one ssn of direct supervisors of this department 5 employees here we have department 5 employees from this relation you need to find the super ssn value so project super underscore ssn from this department 5 employees this is the second query result the total result is result 1 union result 2 or we can write the same query in this way also by nesting all operations this is the first query result this is the second query result we need to take the union of these two results equivalent sql query will be select a distinct ssn from employee where t number equal to 5 union select a distinct super ssn from employee where d number equal to 5 first query result will be this one here we have four employees they are working for department number 5 their ssn values are this and the second query result is this one here we have two employees they are supervisors for this four employees in union operation we need to include all the rows selected from either of these queries so you need to include all the rows from this result and this result what duplicates are not allowed here we have this value in two table so all these four are included this value is repeated so it will not include again and this row from the second relation oracle supports union all operation this will select all the rows from query 1 and all the rows from query 2 including duplicates so uh, this ssn value will be listed two times in a result if you use union all here we have this ssn value again this is included one more time set difference we can define set difference on two union compatible relations r and s the result of this operation denoted by r minus s result is a relation that includes all tuples in relation r but not in relation s let's see another query retrieve the names of all employees who work on project 2 but not work on project 1 let us change this query retrieve only ssn values select all employees who are working on project number 2 select p number equal to 2 on relation works on then you will get employees who are working on project number 2 we need only ssn values so project ssn from this p2 employees and the second query is select p number equal to 1 on works on then you will get employees who are working on project number 1 here also we need ssn so project ssn from this p1 employees the result will be 
first query result result 1 minus second query result result 2 equivalent SQL query would be select ESSN from Voxon where P number equal to 2 minus select ESSN from Voxon where P number equal to 1 this is the Voxon relation in this Voxon we have ESSN P number and horse so we can directly get the SSN values from this Voxon table first query select ESSN from Voxon where P number equal to 2 we have 3 employees they are working on this project number 2 these are their SSN values and second query select ESSN from Voxon where P number equal to 1 these are the 2 employees they are working on project 1 these are the SSN values of this second query in this set difference we need to include the rows from the first query but not the second query here we have this rows that should be removed from this result 1 so this should be removed and this should be removed the final result will be one row that is the this one the set difference implemented with minus let's see set intersection we can define the intersection on two union compatible relations r and s the result of this operation is denoted by r intersection s it is a relation that includes all the tuples that are in both r and s retrieve the social security number of all employees who work on project 2 and 1 so we need to retrieve project 2 employees ssn values again project 1 employees ssn values we need to take the rows which are there in this result 1 as well as in result 2 equivalent sql query will be select ssn from voxon where p number equal to 2 intersect select ssn from voxon where p number equal to 1 here it is ssn in Voxon table this is the first query result we have three rows here this is the second query result we have two rows here we need rows which are present in both the relations so uh, this one and this one these two values are present in these two query results result 1 and result 2 so we need to include these two in our final result 